Hello everybody, good morning. Welcome to math class. Today we're gonna to be talking about lines of symmetry. I know we have talked about it a little bit. Um, we started covering it yesterday uh, with finding lines of symmetry in shapes. So can somebody raise their hand and tell me a shape that has one line of symmetry? Good job, a triangle. So for those who don't remember, I'll draw a triangle and show you the line of symmetry in a triangle. So with a triangle, you can draw a line straight down the middle and it reflects equally on both sides. So a line of symmetry is whenever you split an object straight down the middle and it reflects equally on both sides like a mirror. So now can somebody try to think back in their brain and give me a shape that has two lines of symmetries. Good job, a square. So I'll draw it out for y'all again, for those who don't remember. So a, or a square, this isn't gonna be perfect. We're drawn to scale, but you can draw a line straight down the middle and you can draw one horizontally, so sideways. And if you fold it, it's gonna reflect equally on both sides. And now you could also do it down the middle and it is equal on the top and bottom and the left and the right side. So today we're gonna to be talking about lines of symmetry in the alphabet. So yesterday we talked a lot about lines of symmetry in shapes and we can do flags and other stuff, other objects. But today we're gonna to be talking about lines of symmetry in the alphabet. So I have printed off some papers that have your ABCs um, and we're going to find lines of symmetry throughout our papers. So I'm gonna hand out everybody a piece of paper and we're gonna get started. So now that I'm handing you all out your papers, we are going to look through our alphabet. So as we can see, A, does it have a line of symmetry? If so, draw it and then show me where, and then we're going to use this other sheet that I'm gonna pass out this little chart to put our letters on this chart and sort them out from zero lines of symmetry, one line of symmetry, two lines of symmetry, and then if they have more than one line of symmetry. So I will cut out with y'all and I'm gonna put my letters on my sheet as well. I'm gonna do it with y'all. Um, so while we're doing that, y'all can either work with an elbow partner. If you're not sure of something, you can ask. You can ask me if you need to. So let's get started. So first, we're going to cut out all of our ABCs. Let's make minimal trash if we can. So you can just ball it all up and throw it away. And keep the, keep the classroom nice and clean. Okay, so after you cut out, we are going to now find the lines of symmetry. And an easy little tip, if you cut them all out, you can just line them up and cut across just to save a little bit of time. Just line up your lines like so and get to cutting. Alrighty, we are almost done. Cutting out our alphabets. And once you get done, just sit quietly until everybody else is ready. Okay, so now that everybody is ready, we're going to look through our alphabet and it should be a little bit out of order. If you didn't cut it perfectly, it's okay. We're gonna get through all of them. So, A, we're gonna start with the letter A. Does A have a line of symmetry? 
If so, raise your hand and tell me where. Good job, yeah, it does have one line of symmetry. So let's draw our line of symmetry. Is it gonna be vertical, like up and down, or horizontal, which is sideways? Which one is it gonna be? Good, vertical. So it doesn't have to be perfect, mine's a little off, it's okay. We know what you mean. So with A, having one line of symmetry, we're going to get our chart, put your name at the top, I'll put mine at the top too, and we're going to put it in the one line of symmetry column. Now I don't have glue. We are gonna, I'm gonna pass out glue sticks in a little bit and we can glue them down and we can take them home to show our parents we know lines of symmetry. All right, so next we can do letter B. Does anybody see a line of symmetry in B? Good job, yeah, we have, we have a line of symmetry. Can somebody raise their hand and tell me if it's vertical or horizontal? Good job, it's horizontal. So if you fold B in half horizontally, you get baby D's on both sides. So good, this has one line of symmetry. Next is the letter C. Does anybody see any lines of symmetry in C? Good, everybody sees one, good. Is it horizontal or vertical? Horizontal, good job. So just draw your line of symmetry, and if you fold it, it'll be equal on both sides. All right, let's do a couple more. Let's see. What about if everybody finds W? Let's do W first, or next. Does anybody see a line of symmetry in W? Good, yeah, somebody sees a, somebody sees a line of symmetry. Is it vertical, so is it this way, or is it this way? Horizontal. So let's try it out. If you say horizontal, let's try it out. So if we fold our W in half horizontally, does this side look the same as this side? No. So let's try again. Let's try vertical. So if we fold it this way, does this side look like this side? Good. So this one's going to be vertical. So let's try, draw a line down the middle. So you have two V's on both sides. W. Good job. So that one goes in the one line of symmetry category. All right, now let's try, let's pick up the letter X. Does everybody have X? Take a minute and find it if you don't have it. All right, so now that everybody has the letter X, can somebody see if they can find a line of symmetry in X? Good job, yeah, you found one, good job. So is it horizontal or is it vertical? Horizontal, good. So let's draw a line horizontally. So if we flip it upside down or we flip it in the middle, it's the same on both sides. So it like is on each other, it falls onto itself. So does anybody see another line of symmetry in X? Good job, yeah, you see a vertical line as well. So a vertical line of symmetry. So if you fold it this way, this side will reflect, reflect on this side. Good job. All right, so we're gonna place this one. This doesn't only have one line of symmetry, it has two. So what column do you think it's gonna go under? Letters with two lines of symmetry, good job. So you can put it right there for now. And I know your letters are gonna overlap, overlap a little bit, it's okay if you wanna cut it later. To fit perfectly in the column, you can do so, but let's just keep going for right now. Let's see. What about the letter I? So everybody find this. It is a capital I, not a lowercase l. Capital I. Everybody find it? Good job. Okay, so does anybody see a line of symmetry in the letter I? Good job, is it vertical or horizontal? Horizontal, good job. So if you cut it down the middle and fold it in half, you can see that it reflects onto itself. Does anybody see another line of symmetry in the letter I? Yeah, vertical. So this one is a little different than the rest of them. So if we cut it in half, it's very skinny, but if we do, if we do fold it over, 
it's going to reflect on both sides. And sometimes we draw our letter I's with two lines at the top. So even when we have our lines on both sides, we can still reflect it over and it's going to be the same on both sides. So I has how many? How many lines of symmetry? Two. Good job. Horizontal and vertical. So this one's going to go in letters with two lines of symmetry. So just put it in that column. Good job. So now let's find another letter. What about the letter R? So everybody look through their letters and let's pick up the letter R. Everybody see it? Good. Now, does anybody see a line of symmetry in the letter R? Yes? No, changed your mind? So yeah, so let's see. I don't see any lines of symmetry in the letter R because if we fold it vertically, it's not going to reflect on itself. It doesn't look the same on both sides. And if we flip it horizontally, this side doesn't look like this side. So letter R does not have any lines of symmetry. Y'all are doing so good. So this one's going to go in the first column that says letters with no lines of symmetry. Okay, so now that we know that R doesn't have any lines of symmetry, we are going to see about the letter S. So everybody find the letter S. And let's see if we can find a line of symmetry in letter S. Does anybody see one? Horizontal, okay, let's try it out. So we fold it in half. Does this side look exactly like this side? See, okay, so this is a tricky one. So yes, if we fold it in half, they do look similar, but the hooks on the S, on the S's, are different. So this one curves this way, and this one curves this way. So even though it may look like it's a line of symmetry. It's just a little bit off, so it's not perfect. Does anybody wanna try the vertical one? And let's see if that one works. So this one, we have this side and this side. And the same thing as the horizontal. Even though they look almost the same, they're just a little bit different. So this one has no lines of symmetry. This was a tricky one. So we're gonna put this one in letters with no lines of symmetry. So I want you all to keep on working with a partner, par partner, or you can work independently if you would like to do that and just finish up the rest of the alphabet. And then we will go over it after, after our next activity. So y'all just keep on working and just put your pencils down and your scissors down and just sit quietly until everybody is done, okay? Okay, so now that everybody is done, we're gonna do one last activity. And this is just, it can be a ticket out the door. Let's use it as a ticket out the door. So, we are going to write secret messages. Fun, but we're gonna make it even more fun and we are going to write secret messages in lines of symmetry code. So, you may be wondering, how do you write a message in line of symmetry code? And I'm going to show you. So I'm gonna give y'all an example of a line of symmetry code and you're gonna to have to tell me what it says. So I'm only going to write, this is how it's going to work. I'm going to write half of the letter with a line of symmetry in it. So for example, I'm going to write it with y'all and then I'll come up with my own. So let's write the word math. I think that's fun because we were in math class and math is fun. So let's write math. So look at your charts and find the letter M. 
So does M have a line of symmetry? Good job. So we're going to write half of the M. So this is what it's going to look like. Make it boxy so y'all can see in the back. So this is what our M is going to look like. It's not a full M because we're only drawing the line of symmetry. So if you folded it like this, the M could be on the other side. So next letter in math is A. So what does half of A look like? I'm going to show y'all. So this is now our next letter. So you see, this could finish out and be an M. And this is half of A. So if I fold it in half, you could kind of see where it's going to be A. And the next letter in math is T. Look on your chart and see if T has a line of symmetry. Does it? Awesome. Okay, so we're going to draw half of a T. So my next letter looks like this. So it's M, A, T. And what is our last letter of math? H. Good job. Okay. So if you can think of it off the top of your head, raise your hands and I'll get to you. And if you can't, look at your charts and find the letter H and see if it has a line of symmetry. You can think of it. So good. Yes. H has a line of symmetry. And we're going to draw half of an H. So this is our secret code. M-A-T-H. So this is our secret code. This is what it looks like. Now I want y'all to write a word. Let's do a word instead of a whole sentence because that would take a long time. So let's write a word in secret code in our secret, secret symmetry code and share it with a partner. And then on your way out the door, you're just going to turn it into me. And I'll have to decode your, decode your word and I'll give it back to you and I'll see if I got it right. So I'll give y'all a minute to do that. And then, um, and that's going to be it for today. Y'all did amazing. I think y'all really got the hang of line of symmetry. We're going to keep on working with it a little bit more tomorrow and throughout the week. Um, I know today we did the alphabet, but tomorrow I think we're going to work more on flags um, and see if we can find lines of symmetries and other objects. So quick question before we leave. Um, do you think, so today we worked with capital letters and finding the line of symmetry in capital letters. Do you think, I want you to think on this one, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back to you tomorrow and see if you can think of the answer. If you changed all the capital letters to lowercase letters, do you think that they will have the same line of symmetries? Don't tell me now. I want you to save it for tomorrow. We're going to talk about it, and then we're going to get into our next activity for tomorrow. But think of it overnight. So if you change a capital letter to a lowercase letter, do you think it will have the, line, the same lines of symmetry and why? So we'll talk about that more tomorrow. Y'all did amazing. Thank you so much. And I hope you'll have a good rest of your day.